without further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. Austin here, uh, who will tell us all about Finland Lab. Hi everyone, um, I'm Austin, and my project is Bibimbot. Um, so Bibimbot was designed to be a little car that's both teleoperable and autonomous um, using ROS, uh, and it will have real-time data visualization from its LiDAR and camera feed and its odometry. It will be able to be simulated in a, in a physics engine and have object detection. Um, so Bibimbot was inspired because last Summer, I did an internship in Berlin uh, for a startup who used ROS, and it was the first time I heard about, let alone worked with it. And if you don't know, ROS stands for Robot Operating System, and it's sort of like, it's less of an operating system and more of an ecosystem or framework for building robotics. So after that internship, um, I really wanted to dive deeper into how everything in ROS um, interacts and connects which led me to make this project. So this is how everything in Bibimbot will be communicating. So the Raspberry Pi will um, be running ROS, and it's going to get serial data over USB from the LiDAR and camera, and send uh, serial data to the Nano in the form of command velocities, um, which will then send the appropriate PWM signal to the motor driver. Um, which will drive the motors and then send the encoder readings back to the nano to uh, form a closed loop system. And we can visualize the data that the Raspberry Pi is collecting um, on a workstation uh, over the network using ROS topic. And to power the whole system in Bibimbot, uh, the main power source is a 12 volt LiPo battery, um, which will feed directly into the motor driver powering the motors and also into a five volt regulator which will feed directly into the Nano and the Pi, um, which will piggyback that voltage to the camera and the LiDAR. Um, so for the first half of the project, I was working purely in simulation. So I created a simulated version of Bibimbot using like an XML description. Uh, and uh, here is the first part. So this is just simulating all the ROS communications and programs so essentially on the left side is a physics simulation. Um, on the top right is just visualization software. So it takes in the data that's being sent and visualizes like the odometry and the sensor readings. And the bottom right is just simulating like sending over the command velocities to move over the robot using my keyboard. Yeah, so as you can see, like the odometries, the odometry is working properly. Um, and it was really a pain to get all the inertial measurements in the XML to work properly so that the physics run smoothly. Um, yeah, and the other one is with the LiDAR added. Um, So what's happening here is it's essentially the same thing, but there's also a simulated LiDAR on it. So it's getting um, sensor readings from the simulation itself, and the visualization software um, is taking those points and putting it onto uh, this. And so the physics engine on the right is essentially simulating all the sensor readings um, that it's going to get from the actual version of the box. So uh, at this point, I was feeling pretty good. All the raw stuff was working, and that would integrate directly with the physical version of Bibimbot. Um, but it was at this point of the project where, uh, sorry, I got hit pretty hard by life. Um, a lot, the workload of my classes increased dramatically, and I just lost a lot of time and energy to work on Bibimbot. But since then, I've been able to, so uh, before this project, I had no experience with CAD or 3D modeling. So it was actually a bit of a um, long process getting to learn it. So I took a little course, got comfortable with it, and I was able to uh, dump this out, this 
vision of Bippin' Bot out from my brain. And uh, as you can see, he's a bull with flat edges, so the component is not funny. And I bought the 3D printer um, to get familiar with the whole process of that, and I was able to print out a quarter of Bippin' Bot. Uh, yeah, so my 3D printer is too small to print out the whole thing directly, and it takes a lot of filament and time, so the other three quarters are currently being built right now. Yeah, so that's basically <laughs> the end of the story, unfortunately. I wasn't able to fully finish the project. Um, it's not the finish line I was hoping to reach by the end of the quarter, but um, I can genuinely say I learned a lot about ROS, uh, system design, choosing components, and mechanical design. So thank you all for listening to my presentation, and thank you to IEEE for the, uh, for the opportunity. And let's give up one more round of applause for Austin.